Build it's my duty to advise you that motor racing is dangerous, your equipment can be damaged or destroyed, you may suffer personal injury or worse. Is there any aspect of Right, so he's just had driver's briefing. Uh, I actually got to pick the numbers for the heats and groups and everything and stuffed it for myself. But anyway, that's okay. We're about to go out on track in a second to do engine starts. They're going to do it in two groups. So we'll be in that first group. Then we'll go out for hot laps slash time trials, I think, um, in the first group. And then we're in group uh, heat one. So, ah, anyway, Ooh, it's very exciting. See you guys. They've got the lightning sprints out there now and uh, so that was the very first green flag on this track so well done to the lightning sprints and that was pretty surreal going on for the engine starts and that so we'll go out for the hot laps group in the first group so we'll just see how we go. No one else has sort of run here except the guys that have done practices so we'll uh, give it a go and just try and keep her straight and yeah, get in there. Really cool, really cool track. I'm really thankful that we were able to be here this weekend to do it. So, alright guys, I'll post some more later. excited because I've got to change the gears. Oh, I got dirt on me. That, oh, <laughs> I don't know what to say. <laughs> that was really cool. I hope, um, I hope you guys, anyone watching on TV really enjoyed that. That was just insane. And um, I feel very privileged. <laughs> that was cool. <laughs> so, how come we're going to change the gear? Because someone was actually on the gas and her lows were on. I just had to get that on video. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, video. Now I want to see the highs up with oh. you. pretty awesome uh, at one stage someone was trying to pass me underneath I'm like man you you're gonna be on the bike lane soon so <laughs> that made me giggle anyway I didn't want to come last but eh, it is what it is and uh, congratulations to Benny for winning the very first sprint car heat race at Eastern Creek so that was a really good race this joint is epic it is packed all the corporate areas. There is people everywhere. No matter where you go, there is people. They are everywhere. Right around to the big screen and around the back there, that's the where all the crew stand. This joint is cool. about how this racetrack might take a little while to widen out as well. It's going to be interesting to see, I think, how that will play out through the course of tonight, leading in through the next couple of weeks as well. Of course, we've got sprint cars here this weekend, two weeks' time. They'll be back on the bill as well. But you can see everyone at the moment getting this track packed towards the top side of the racetrack. And now... which are qualifying against these cars on the racetrack right now. And then that's how they'll line up in the heat race. The fastest guy out of that qualifying session and the next qualifying session 
they will, the fastest person out of these, those two groups, will start at a position eight in their heat. Then, so the man that was fastest in this group was Ian Madsen. Remember he had Now my apologies, I don't think Ian was in heat one. He might be just coming out to do an engine start. If my timing is correct, and the way these cars are on this screen, it'd mean Jesse Adard was the fastest time. Now I will confirm that once they completely form up. New system, new computers, all that. We're fine tuning that, so we do apologise. Great shots. And we're green, Atkinson side by side. Libby Ellis and Hodgson. Hobson on the outside, Ellis on the bottom side. Atkinson goes around Ellis. He's now got Hobson in front of him. Atkinson. Trying to get the job done for remaining. Anderson closing. Grant Anderson, the gunners, closing down the back straight. Atkinson needs to get past Hobson. He does on the outside. Makes that move. Car. White flat out that time by for Atkinson. Circulating around this venue here at Eastern Creek Speedway. The line together. Blake Skipper. Four remaining for Skipper. Can Allen do anything with Madgett? That's your race leader out of the car. So I reckon there's a hole in the radiator. Continues on. Race leader Skipper up behind Libby Ellis. There they are on screen. Second place car is now Stephen Allen. He got past Michael Matchett. Skipper still circulating around nicely. Okay, so it's about 6.30 Queensland time here. We're about to leave Eastern Creek. We've had hardly any sleep. No, we, I said, I correct myself. We've had about four hours sleep after finishing in the pits and chatting to everybody. And no, I didn't have any drinks, but man, am I tired. So we're gonna uh, head off, take this big girl home. So anyway, guys, see ya.
so they close the gates. So. Uh, so that's just amazing. Well done to Eastern Creek. It was uh, You're like the Kelly families and the Anderson family. Yeah. yeah. And you can see they were Hold your hands high, guys. Awesome job. They uh they definitely were plugged in all of them. So